Hang in there, people. We're getting the camera set up. Got to get it right. Got to be able to see the board. All right. We're going to be live. We are live. I'm going to be live on it in just a second. I'm going to step around the front of the camera, and I think we're going to be good to go. Can you see the board? Is it on the screen? Am I on the screen? All right. A little bit of hokey production till we get ready. Are we ready? Does it say we're ready? I'm going to ask you to, um, my wife in the background here, to uh, pull it up online on screen so you can monitor things. I've got the camera forward facing tonight because we're going to be writing on the board. And if I flip the camera, Things are going to, it's backwards. Oh, when I start writing on the board, things are going to be backwards. Let me see if I flip the camera, if it'll change. Hang on, folks. A little technical glitchiness here to get started, but boy, once we get started, this is going to be good. That's the forward-facing camera. I can see it that way. And it's live. You know what? We're doing it anyways. All right. Didn't take into consideration, or thought I factored into consideration, the reverse nature of the camera here off the phone. Um, see where it says clipper and guy? It's backwards. When I start writing, it's going to be backwards. Maybe I'll write backwards. That'll be fun. We'll see, see if we can do it. Ivan can't spell forwards. It'll get really fun when Ivan tries to spell backwards. Okay, pardon the crazy setup there and getting started in a weird way. I'm Ivan Zoot and welcome to Jatai Academy. Once again, it is always an honor and a privilege to be invited in to spend some time with people in our business to share a little bit about what we do and share a little bit about what we know. And Jatai Academy has always been the place that everybody loves to come uh, to learn and see these things. We've been doing these things probably close to a year now, uh, going live like this, and uh, the attendance has been good, the response has been positive, and we appreciate you tuning in. There's lots going on. It's going to be a busy month. Actually, the busy happens at the end of the month or the beginning of the next month, June 2 and 3. Um, Premier Orlando is the big show coming up for everybody in our industry. We got two weeks to see you all down in Orlando at Premier. That's going to be a great event. Uh, everybody's going to love that one. And um, Jatai's got a booth. They're going to be at booth. Um, it's 3400 aisle. I left a post-it note in the other room. But 3400 aisle is where it is. Um, I was watching an old one. What's that? I was watching an old one. Is it better if I reverse it? All right, hang on folks. I'm getting a little technical support input here. Apparently if I flip the phone, because we had an older video up there, if I flip the phone, boop, and I flip the phone, boop, is it now forward? It's gonna take 30 seconds to know. And drum roll please. Patience. We want to get this right because this is really going to be a fun episode. We're sharing some great stuff. So just bear with us here in listener land. Talk amongst yourself for a moment until we're ready to go. What's that? Do you want me to get whatever you need? No, nah, that's all good. So hang on. We're just going to wait and see when we get to the end of the uh, delay, which should be coming up here any minute now. I'm pointing at it. I'm, it's so funny. I'm standing here talking to you while I'm watching it on the delay. Now here it's going to flip on the live broadcast. And turn it around and turn it around. Now it says Clipper Guy the right direction. Wow, this is going to be awesome. Okay. I am so excited. Can you check and see how are we looking in terms of framing? Yeah. Got my big head on. <laughs> Looking good? Me and the camera and everybody? Yep. Excellent. All right. 
Here we are. We're still looking at my head on the up close. The delay on this is a little bit wacky. All right, let's be professional. Let's get this thing started. Jatai Academy, welcome back. Now we've got Clipper Guy reading the right way. Now when I take the marker and I go to the board, it's going to be reading the right way. Everybody should be happy with some great information. So this episode uh, was specifically referring to uh, productivity and pricing practices in the shop in the salon and behind the chair so we've got some great information to share with you tonight as always we start the program with an excerpt from hundred thousand dollar hair cutter and today is tuesday the 14th of may let's find may 14 and let's see what the book says for may 14 all right, May 14, day 134 of the year, with 231 days remaining in the year. Day four, May 14, have backup tools. 2 p.m. on a busy Saturday is no time for you to quit. It is no time for a clipper to quit or to run out of razor blades. Keep it in the Jatai world. A clipper will die or a tooth will chip when it is least convenient. You gotta have backups, you gotta have extra blades, you've gotta have extra razors, you should have spare handles, you should have more than one of the things you use every day to take care of all of your clients, to put money in the drawer and cash in the bank. Backup tools are fundamental and important for busy professionals in our business. So that's our $100,000 hair cutter tip of the day for today. You know there's 364 more in the book, plus a bonus week, plus two more bonus chapters of additional information. Clipperguy.com or Amazon to get your copy of the book. Jatai.net, J-A-T-A-I.net to get your backups, to get your extra razor blades. And we've got specials on blades this month and to get your extra handles. Love my Japanese style SS uh, razor. Oh, my favorite for shaving, for clients, for necklines and sideburn cleanup. And of course, Nape and Body razors with the special compact wire wrap Nape and Body blade that has become the go to tool for cos professionals for neckline cleanup, sideburn, ear area, and detail work. Uh, that's your money maker. Make sure you have a backup. So today, what we're going to take a look at is we're going to take a look at a piece of a bigger program. You know, the $100,000 hair cutter book started out as a blog post, and then it morphed into a, uh, a bigger article, and then it turned into a live class, and then it turned into a book. But the book was based on the idea that in order to be a $100,000 hair cutter, a big earner in our business, and remember, $100,000 for some people is a hope and a dream and a goal that they may never reach. For other people, $100,000 hair cutter is a stepping stone on the way to so much bigger and better numbers ever in our business. So don't be locked in by that number. If you earn $100,000, a six-figure salary in our business already, number one, congratulations. Number two, I'm proud of you. Number three, what's next? Because there's always something bigger and better. But the program started out based on the idea that I believe there are eight things, eight things we must do in this business, every client, every time. And if we can do these eight things, every client, every time, Huge numbers, high productivity, and big success is accessible to all of us. So here's the deal. I like to say our business is simple, but it's not easy. And what do I mean by that? Our business is simple. What do we do? We do simple things. This is not a complicated or tricky industry. We're not doing like eyeball surgery, and we're not launching space shuttles, and we're not building high-tech computers. What do we do? We're going to be nice to people. Can you be nice to people? I think you can. It's not that hard. Be nice to people. And what are we going to do? We're going to deliver a service for which we have been trained. So let me ask you something. If you've been trained to do something, can you do it comfortably and confidently? Of course you can. If you haven't been trained to do something, you're nervous, you're apprehensive, you're unsure, you're not real happy about trying to do it. And it's even harder to be nice to people in those stressful circumstances. So if we can stick in our lane, stick with being nice to people and doing things for which we have been trained, our business is simple, but it's not easy. And what I mean by that is the not easy part is the consistency I spoke of earlier. Every client, every time. 
So I've broken it down to eight things you need to do. Today, I want to take a close look at thing number two. Thing number two on the list. We're going to put a two up there, and I'm going to write out what I call a formula. And it's going to look like this. Can everybody see that? Is that on the screen clearly so everybody can see it? I hope so. There's a 30 second delay here, so it'll take a minute to make sure everybody can see what we've got going on there. And um, if not, we'll adjust the position of the paper on the camera so everybody can see it. But that's the formula, the formula right there. And I want to get a, a marker that's just a little juicier as this one is starting to kind of gray out on me. Got a big fat juicy marker here, but that's your formula. And let's put a line. Oh, look how much juicier that one is. Here we go. I'm going to take you to the formula. Is everybody ready? Here's the formula. The formula is W arrow number two ampersand arrow F 3.0 HC slash HR. That's the formula. Now I got to explain what it means. What it means is this. We can see it. We can see it. Perfect. Work up to and down from 3.0 haircuts per hour. I'll say it again. Work up to, W up to, work up to and down from 3.0 haircuts per hour. Now what does that mean? What that means is, I believe in order to be a $100,000 haircutter, you have to get faster so you can get slower. Now let me explain what that means. I'm going to draw a chart. I'm going to draw a chart right here on the board. Here's my chart. It has a horizontal and a vertical axis. The horizontal axis is time moving forward into the future from the beginning onward. And the vertical axis is haircuts per hour. That is our productive speed time haircuts per hour. The formula, work up to and down from 3.0 haircuts per hour. Let me draw you a map. Let me draw you a road map of your life in our business. Let me draw you your trajectory of your lifetime of activity in our business. Here it goes. Are you ready? There it is. Classic bell curve. This is your life in the business. Now, let's fill in some spaces and places along the chart of your life in the business. This is the beginning. The beginning of time, time in the business. Not back with the dinosaurs, but the beginning of time in the business. Right here. At the beginning, you're capable of doing one haircut per hour. You are slow and you suck. Raise your hand. How many people in the beginning were slow and they were bad? Yeah, that would be me. That would probably be you. We all start out there. We start out slow and we start out bad and we start out cheap. Beauty school or barber school haircuts, maybe $10 a haircut. That's the beginning. Now the goal is to get all the way over here. As time moves on, the goal is to get here. Here is one haircut per hour at $100 per haircut. One haircut per hour, one haircut per hour. In the beginning, we're cheap. Down the road, we're going to get expensive. Now, if you do the math on that, if you work eight hours a day, five days a week, 50 weeks a year, two weeks vacation, and you multiply that out at $100 a haircut, you will blow way past $100,000 haircutter. That's the goal. Now, let's fill in some things along the way. You start out in the business, you're new and you're slow and you're cheap. And that's okay, because we all start there. But what do you do? You do the things you need to do. What do you do? You take classes, and you take care of customers, and you go to hair shows, and you watch Jatai Academy, and you do things like that to get better to improve yourself. Nobody graduates from beauty and barber school done. Graduation is a beginning. It's the beginning of everything. So what do you do? You get better. Somewhere along the way one day you wind up about right there. 
at two haircuts per hour. You've gotten better and you've gotten faster. And maybe at this point you are $16 a haircut. Congratulations, that's awesome. That's amazing. You've been working, time has moved forward. You've been growing. You're faster, you're doing two haircuts an hour. You're more expensive, you're $16 a haircut. You're generating $32 per hour in hourly productivity. That's something to be proud of. Congratulations, you've come a long way. What do you do now? You keep doing what you've been doing. You do what got you to the dance. You stick with what's working and you continue to take classes, to take better care of customers, to expand your knowledge and learning, to find and identify mentors, to visit Jatai Academy and watch another video. And you continue to move forward until one day you find yourself here. 3.0 haircuts per hour, and maybe now you're $22 a haircut, generating $66 an hour in hourly productivity. Look how far you've come. You're three times faster, and you're six times the price. Congratulations, you're doing great. This is so exciting. This is why you went to barber school. This is why you went to beauty school. This is why you love this career. Time out, sidebar. One thing we got to talk about, 3.0. I think it's very important to acknowledge, address, and discuss the fact that I believe, and I think you should believe, I'll tell you what to believe. I believe every barber and every cosmetologist in America must be able to deliver a quality technical experience. You got to do the job right. A high quality technical experience and deliver world-class customer service in 20 minutes. That's 3.0 haircuts per hour at any price point. I don't care if you're working in a low price, high volume, family oriented chain salon, and I don't care if you're working in a high end day spa, and I don't care if you're working in a luxury men's barbershop environment, 20 minutes is sufficient time for excellent work with excellent quality service. If you don't find that to be the case, you've got some work to do. You need to work on your customer service and you need to work on your timing and skills. But I believe we can all do it. And I believe that at any price point, a customer can be very, very satisfied with the technical quality and the service in 20 minutes. I think it's also important to recognize that the high pri low price, high volume chains Zippy cuts and quickie cuts and, and tricky cuts and, and happy cuts and all the places out there that do lots and lots of haircuts, they know that number and they don't want you to go any faster than that. Don't have the mistaken idea that the fast service chains want you going faster than this because they have the history and the data and the support to know that faster than 3.0, two things happen. Number one, faster than 3.0, quality drops. The haircuts just aren't as good. And more importantly, they know that faster than 3.0, the customer service tanks. You're just not as good. The experience is not as good. The value is not there in that same way. So it is important to acknowledge, time out. It is important to acknowledge not only is 3.0 very realistic, but it's the ceiling in many, many, many situations. So you started out in the beginning, one haircut per hour, $10, you were cheap and you worked hard and you were dedicated to your craft and you grew 2.0, $16 a haircut and you were moved on and you grew and you maxed out at 3.0 haircuts per hour. Great. You have now earned the right and he created the opportunity to slow down, to start expanding your service offerings, to start digging deeper with people, to start creating a higher value experience. You've earned the right to do it. So you start working down the backside of the equation. You're going to find yourself again one day at 2.0 haircuts per hour, and maybe you're up to $38 a haircut. 38 times two is $76 an hour in hourly productivity. There hasn't been a big dollar productivity gain here, 
But the real gain here as you slow down the backside is in substantially increased customer experiences, relationship building, and the quality of the visit. That's the big payoff here. And what do you do? You keep doing what you did. You keep doing what got you to the dance. You keep doing what got you invited to this party. You keep taking good care of people. You keep raising your prices. You keep expanding your offerings. And you keep moving upward until you find yourself here. One haircut per hour at $100 a haircut. Ah, the clouds part, the beam of light shines down, the angels sing, this is a beautiful place to be. You are making big, big money, and you've earned it. You've worked hard, you've made the journey, and here you are. Congratulations. Now, is everybody with me on this? Nobody understand how we got here? This is your life. At some point, I want you to do a screen grab of this. I want you to save it on your wallpaper on your phone. Look at it every day. I want you to print a copy of it and tape it to the mirror in the bathroom. I want you to tape it to the dashboard in the car. I want you to see this constantly as a reminder of the mission you're on and what it's going to take. Now, is there anybody out there watching? Is there anybody out there listening? Is there anybody out there thinking, hey, Ivan, cool. Thanks for breaking it down that way. I appreciate what you shared with me and shown me here, but I want a shortcut. Is there anybody who wants a shortcut? Is there anybody looking at this journey and going, man, that looks like a, long, a lot of time and a lot of work and a long journey. Is there a shortcut? So I ask you, is there a shortcut? And the answer is yes. It's exciting. This is where this gets to be really cool. Because the answer is, Anywhere on the journey, anywhere on the chart, anywhere you happen to be, you can shortcut. You can shortcut all the way across the chart to the other side. Think about it. If you can do two haircuts an hour, you can do two haircuts an hour, right? Two is two. Now, I'm not telling you that if you're $16, you wake up one morning and go, I'm 38. Don't try that. Well, that's not going to work. The question is, what does it take to shortcut the game? And the answer is pretty simple. I'm going to show you the answer. Here it is. The answer is your USP. Anybody know what that is? Anybody ever heard of that before? I talk about this in my classes. I'm going to be at Premier 2 and 3. Jatai is going to be at Premier in the 3400 aisle with their booth. Come on and see us. Come on and see them. I'm at 5883 on the show floor. I've got five classes and I'm on the Barber uh, panel discussion as well. So a full weekend of deals and specials and networking and interaction and all kinds of great stuff at Premier Orlando. But your USP right here, that is your unique selling proposition. That is the answer to the question, and it's a very good question. Why would I let Ivan cut my hair? Why would I even let you cut his hair? Why would anybody be your customer? It's your USP, your unique selling proposition. It's the answer to the question, why you? How are you different? How are you special? How are you unique? Because the bad news I have for you is everybody can cut hair. The bad news I have for you is today in our industry, the average is very, very high. The average hair cutter is very, very good. If you're going to tell me your USP, you're unique because you do better haircuts, I'm going to tell you you're going to be hungry. I'm going to tell you you're not going to be very busy. I'm going to tell you, your haircuts are not better. How much better is better? When the average is so high, just about everybody out there is doing haircuts that are good enough. And good enough is good enough. Really, it is. I would argue your client does not know the difference between a good and a great haircut. They may know the difference between a good and a bad, because the difference between good and bad is pretty big. But the difference between good and great is the kind of subtlety that sometimes you and I, as barbers and haircutters, we might appreciate the subtleties and the esoteric differences between good and great. 
But I'm going to tell you that the average customer doesn't and can't. And in a lot of cases, they don't care. Because good enough is good enough. So I'm going to tell you, your USP has got to be something other than my haircuts are better. And it's not my job to tell you what makes you unique and special. It's my job to tell you, you got to be unique and special. You've got to find what makes you magical. It may be your environment. It may be how you run on time and move customers through the shop. It may be the music you play and the coffee bar you have and the changing smocks you offer people and the variety of products you sell. I mean, the list goes on and on. You could be unique, different, and special in all of these ways. And as a matter of fact, I suggest you probably should. You want to be utterly remarkable. You want to be so incredibly special and unique that your customers feel compelled to tell their family and friends about you. No, 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 you gotta go to Ivan. No, 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 you don't understand. Ivan's gotta cut your hair. No, 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 you don't understand. I won't go to anybody else. No, 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 you don't understand. It's worth the price. No, 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 you don't understand. This guy's different. That's what you're looking to create. That is your USP. That allows you to short circuit this project anytime you want. And that's exciting because when you realize it can happen, magic happens. Now, couple other things to talk about and think about relative to this. Number one, I want to warn you, there are young people out there. And when I say young people, I think it's important to emphasize they're not necessarily young in age. Some of them are old in age and young in mind and young in thinking. So when I say there are young people out there, I mean young in the business and young in their approach. There are young people out there who look at this chart and say, Ivan, forget about it. I want to go right here. There are people coming into our business and industry, walking out of school going, I don't want to pay my dues and I don't want to work my way up the chart. I just want to open up tomorrow at a hundred bucks. And you know what? Some of them are doing it because some of them have figured out how to be so unique and different and special and amazing that the marketplace is allowing for it. And you know what? The tools we have today, Facebook, where we are right now, Instagram, you know Instagram, the ability to tweet, the ability to book online using software programs, the ability to use YouTube videos and, and so much of the technology that is available today allows people to not only be unique, but communicate that uniqueness in powerful, powerful ways. So what I'm here to tell you is you can go the long journey, you can shortcut the thing, or you can blow it all off. And that's probably the most exciting thing I'll share with you today. Now, I do want to offer also what we're going to call a cautionary reminder. Now, when I draw this chart, Immediately, people find their spot on the chart. In their mind, in their head, they put a dot on here where they are. Every one of us is somewhere here. Every one of us is a dot along the chart. You put your dot on there, didn't you? Now, you might have put a dot on the outside based on your current speed, or you might have put a dot on the inside based on your current price but you put your dot on there and that's okay and that's good. But I want to caution you, there are people in our business who are somewhere like right there. They've been in the business for a while and they started out like everybody else and they started moving along the path and they stalled out. Time stopped moving forward. The program stopped moving upward they stopped moving onward. And you've probably come across a few of these people. You probably know somebody like this. These are the people that say things like, this shop is slow. We don't have enough walk-ins. Management isn't promoting and advertising to help me build and grow. There's too many barber shops in our town. There are too many hair cutters out there. People are working without licenses. 
Do you know these people? These are these people that just want to complain. They're looking at all of this opportunity. They stalled out right here, and all they can really do is gripe. All they can really do is whine and complain and moan and blame other people. Don't be that person. Don't be that hair cutter that stalls out anywhere on the chart and blames their lack of progress or their situation on anybody and everybody else. Because you know what? On this road, on this journey, it's yours. You're the driver. You control it. You can be anywhere on this chart you want to be. You can go the long way, or you can go the short way, or you can blow it off and head right for the finish line. And my job is to help you. And Jatai Academy is here to help you with programming like this. Programming like what John Mosley had earlier, uh, talking about the technical aspects of shaving. Programming like I'm going to be here to offer you next month and many of the other great people who are part of the Jatai Academy community. We're here to help you. I'm here to help you make amazing things happen in this business. So I'm going to pause right here. I'm going to smile. That's your screenshot right there. Take that screenshot and save it as your wallpaper. Figure out where you are in the journey and figure out where you want to go and figure out how Jatai Academy and I can help you. So your reminders, Premier Orlando, June 2 and 3, Jatai, in the 3400 aisle. Forgive me, I, I think it's 3422, 3424, something like that but it's in the 3400 aisle. Uh, I'm at 5883, five classes and the panel discussion. We've got our monthly specials, the bi-monthly. They run for two months. The May-June specials are still floating around out there. Go to jatai.net on the web uh, to find out about all of those. If you are not a subscriber to Jatai Academy, subscribe to uh, the Academy today so that you never miss any of these or all the other great things that we are sharing all the time. Now I know we have the 30 second delay and we're a little uh, closing in on about 35 minutes here, but I want to see if we got any Q&A. Uh, anybody want to actively type or ask if we've got questions? Oscar. Lots of good info here. You should have more views for sure. Knowledge is power and power is money. Oscar Sanchez, thank you very much for that comment. Um, what I can tell you is this. Um, we get a lot of views on replay for this because we advertise and promote it and we get a certain amount of eyeballs live, but then this lives on uh, both here on Facebook as well as uh, we broadcast it out there and we put the link out there in a lot of ways. So, uh, yeah, we hope. 3422, uh, I was right. I knew it was the 3400 aisle. I guessed in the 20s. I said 2224. I was right. It is 22. Thank you for that, Jatai. Um, other comments on here? Miguel said thank you. Oh, Miguel said thank you. Miguel, thank you. Good to see you, my friend. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow night, too. Somebody else said something underneath it. Um, that's all I see for comments on here. All right, if that's all we've got for tonight, hey, um, I do know that uh, the Jatai Facebook page is monitored and, um, what's the word I want to use? Um, admin. The administrators are on that page uh, pretty aggressively, so if you have questions or comments, um, they will get on those questions or comments, or they always are very good about asking me to jump on and provide answers and things. If I don't see them, I will check back. So if you've got any more questions about this program, work up to and down from 3.0 haircuts per hour as part of your journey, journey and trajectory in the industry as you master your productivity, profitability, and your pricing. Jatai Academy and I are here to help. Ivanzoot.com on the web, J-A-T-A-I dot net. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. How can I help you? Let me know. Bye-bye.